Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week we are dealing with a beginner's uh, video cast and we're talking about the difference between por, por qué, por qué, and el por qué. Entonces, hablamos de todo en la segunda parte. If you like this content and you want to help to, to keep the content coming and support us, there are a few ways for beginners, there are a few ways that you can do that. We have available now on our website a course for beginners for conjugating verbs. Conjugating verbs for beginners and it helps you with the present tense and it helps you with the present perfect tense. So that's available. What's the present perfect, honey? That's the I have eaten. So I eat and I have eaten. That's what it, we help you with. Also, if you want to, if you feel a bit braver, we have the subjunctive for beginners as well, which is a course that just takes you through step by step, at least presenting the subjunctive to you so that as you then go through your learning journey, you're not scared of it. Okay, as many people are. ¿Verdad? Verdad. <laughs> Cierto. <laughs> Exactamente. And then other thing, other resource for beginners is our book, our first book in a series of two, which is Victor's Adventures in Spain. And that's a um, bilingual um, parallel textbook that has audio with it as well and lots of exercises, all designed to take you from beginner to intermediate. Okay. So this question comes from Marilyn Washburn. Hola, Hola Marilyn. Marilyn. And Marilyn said, please help me with the difference between por and por qué. So what I thought would be interesting if we talked about all the different kinds of por qué. Okay. But Marilyn gave us two examples and she said, por la lluvia and por qué, por qué la lluvia. Okay. So this is a very classic uh, confusion, Error. is it mm -hmm. not? Yeah. So what does por la lluvia mean, Cynthia? Well, por, the preposition por, could mean for or to, mm -hmm. depending on the verb and the context. But it can also mean because of. Okay? Mm -hmm. And usually because people say because of, then they say, oh, because is porque. And I've also seen porque de. Porque, porque de, de, because of. Porque de la lluvia. Yeah? yeah. Yeah, exactly. So because of, the whole thing is por. Exactly. When you use por qué, you're saying because. Now, that you can't just say because the rain. So you've got to, because that por qué, por qué is because. Yes. Porque van a venir eh, mañana, because they're going to come tomorrow. So you need to use exactly. it in exactly the same context as we do in English. But it's because of is only por. Yeah, because it, of. As in due to, uh -huh. that, that would be por. Yeah? Uh -huh. And the other because then needs an explanation. Unless you use it like you use it in English and you go because. And because. then you don't say anything. Full stop. Ah, but how do you, how do you say that? Because. Well, the way we say that is, for example, if the question is um, a, 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 a negative mm -hmm. form, for example, why don't you like nuts? And we would say because not. Okay, you say because, but we would say because not. So we would say, porque no. Mm -hmm. And if it's affirmative, if the question is in affirmative, porque te gustan los cacahuetes, or why do you like nuts? Then we would say, because yes, porque sí. Porque sí. So there you are. Mm -hmm. When you just say because, we would say, porque sí, or porque no, mm -hmm. depending on. So you're reaffirming yeah, and, the, and the what, like or the dislike. And what's interesting is that, um, the Sebastian, when he was learning, when he was younger, he would use the exactly he would say, porque la lluvia. Uh -huh. He would say that because he was thinking in yes, English. Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then, because of por. Yeah. So because of por. So then we've got what? what it, so we know that porque one word, no accent. Yes. Is because one word porque no accent is because. Yeah. So you mm -hmm. can. It's. It, it's the reply to a question with why, because, por qué, por qué, so, blah, 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 blah. So it uh -huh. could be the beginning of a, of a sentence, or it could be in the middle of a sentence. Mm -hmm. He didn't come because, no vino porque, okay, so that, mm -hmm. then 
you need an explanation. Yeah, the uh -huh. explanation comes after. So that would be the the two together. Por qué? No accent. So then that brings us to the to the why question, which is por qué, and that's got an accent or a tilde on the on the qué. Yeah? yeah, and it's two separate words. It isn't one word. Exactly. So the way to remember that is. Actually, what you're saying is, you're not saying why in Spanish, you're saying because of what. So, por, because of, que, what. Yeah, that's exactly. literally how they, how they make a why in Spanish. Yeah. Exactly. Uh -huh. And these, these are for questions, but the questions could be direct or indirect questions, like mm -hmm. in English. Mm -hmm. For example, you can say, why are you late? Or, I don't know why you're late. Yeah. Okay, so... The, you have the, the same porqué separated with the tilde and um, it would be the first one would be por qué llegas tarde and the second one would be no sé por qué llegas tarde it's like a hidden a hidden question inside it's a hidden of a statement question, isn't yeah? it? it's a hidden question it's a, it's a mm. indirect question yeah okay um, there is a third one that we use um, with por qué two words and one uh, with a K with a tilde. But that would mean for, that would be for exclamations. For example, I don't know how you, help me with this in English, but uh -huh. if I say, Gordon, ¿por qué zonas me llevas? De verdad. Ah, okay. Yeah? So how you say that in English? It would be like, well, the areas you take the, me the, through. It, yeah, that's But okay. it would be with the through, so it, it would be a mixture of the through, which would be por, yeah, and the que, yeah. Like what areas are you what, taking me through? What what areas are you taking me through? We so would we would say, say through what areas are you taking me? Uh -huh. In an exclamation, yeah. So the through and the what together okay. would make the por okay. qué. So mm -hmm. not not every time you see por qué means why. It could also mean through through what through what through what or yeah. for what or mm -hmm. you know. So it could be that a verb requires the por. And that comes from the verb. Okay, interesting, yeah. yeah. And what about the el por qué? And then we have el por qué. Okay, so this is a sustantivo. This is a noun. It's a masculine noun. Mm -hmm. So it's all one word, but it has an accent. El por qué. So because it doesn't have an accent, it would be por qué. And this one is por qué, right? Um, and this means the reason why. Okay, or the reason. So, for example, mm. uh, I've got here, no sé el porqué de tu enfado. Like in English, it would be like, I don't know the reason behind, behind your anger. Uh -huh. yeah? The reason, yeah? el porqué. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Or, for example, you could say, todo tiene su porqué. So, everything has its reason or its reason why. Okay. Yeah? Uh -huh. So, it's not always el porqué. You could use it with su, and it could also be plural, los porqués, if it's the reasons. Mm -hmm. Okay? And we could you use it with un, un porqué. Un porqué, tendrá un porqué, possibly, yeah. Uh -huh. It's not something that you It's hear not, that much. Right. You tend to hear with the article eh, eh, el, el or los porqués, mm -hmm. that's usually the one. Okay. But also with su or sus porqués. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you, if you want to say the reasons why. Okay, super. So it's nice and straightforward. The best way is to, is to write out sentences so that you practice so you know what each one is, yeah? But the, it's not difficult. The only one you've got to be careful of is just not mixing por because of with por qué because, yeah? ¿Quieres terminar en español un poco? Claro, por supuesto. <laughs> eh, y hablamos un poco en, en general, ¿no? Vale. Entonces, ¿qué, ¿Qué tal te encuentras? Yo me encuentro muy bien. ¿Sí? Me, me encuentro mejor que el tiempo. Uh, <risa> ¿Veis? Ahora estamos hablando del tiempo. Y aquí en España no, no se suele hablar del tiempo. Excepto, ah, excepto si hace mucho frío o hace mucho calor o llueve. ¿Cuántos ejemplo? grados hace hoy, Cindy? Creo que eh, hoy sí, máximo 8 grados. Sí. Creo. Entonces, uh -huh. más o menos como... Esta mañana en... hacía seis, ¿verdad? Esta mañana hacía bueno, mucho frío. Bueno, digo, cuando hacíamos el, el, la lección live, ¿no? Sí. Seis grados. Sí. sí Pero seis no, grados. no ha mejorado nada, ¿no? ¿no? 
está lloviendo, tenemos el, el, el fuego de pellets ya al, al máximo. Gracias a Dios por el, el fuego de pellets. Sí, la verdad. La ver bueno, calienta. ¿Por qué, el... ¿por qué eh, te decidiste a comprar el fuego para pellets? El, el, ¿Cómo se llama? Porque ten teníamos el... ¿Cómo se llama? Es un cassette, ¿no? Sí, el, el cassette, cassette, el fuego. Teníamos un fuego de leña, ¿vale? Y yo ponía el fuego y... y Notaba que no salía nada de, de calor, pero nada, nada. Bueno, tenías que estar muy, muy, muy cerca. Entonces, eh, cuando estuvimos en el Airbnb, en esa casa, tenían un, 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 una estufa de, de pellets y uff, pensé, quiero uno, sí. quiero uno de esos. Es verdad que calienta bien... Eh, una zona. La zona, el resto la zona. de la casa está helada. <risa> sí, bueno, de hecho, eh, no es, no es eh, la estufa más eh, potente. potente. Eh, había estufas mucho más, más dinero, pero bueno, da, llena el, el salón, ¿no? Sí, que el salón sí. Vivimos en el salón durante el día. Bueno, Gordon no vive en el salón, no, vivo Gordon vive arriba, aquí, en el, aquí, en el estudio. <risa> Sí. En la oficina. En la oficina, sí. Pero luego, antes de ir a la cama, eh, como una hora, dos horas antes, ponemos la calefacción, ¿no? Para sí. calentar la casa sí. un poco. Sí. Sí, pero bueno. Si no... <risa> nos conservamos muy bien <risa> por la noche. <risa> no, no, no somos jóvenes, estamos congelados. <risa> en el tiempo, ¿no? <risa> Vale, entonces, muchísimas gracias, eso es todo, y ahora nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós.